Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 15th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Typically, these readings pay out for me in a couple of days, three or four days, typically. Um, I hear all kinds of things from other people about when they play out for them. You know, when cards fall out, i got to take them. I just do. It's just the way it goes. Um, oh, justice reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Well, we know this is coming, right? There's been dishonesty. Okay, somebody hasn't been honest. There could be some upcoming legal issues or they're in the past, but there's some sort of unfair treatment here. This is an injustice, a lack of integrity, breaking the law. Uh, somebody has broken some sort of law in the past. Karma's a bitch. We talk about that a lot. Um, hmm, dishonesty. Loss of power. Ah, ten of coins reversed. That is losing it all. That is a total loss, complete loss. The, and we know this is coming. This is the collapse of an empire or the end of a uh, commitment by the looks of things. It's the end of a foundation. Um, this, this is like a huge loss. It's losing it all. It's it's uh, Somebody could be moving out of their home. There could be a, a, a change in the living situation. This is an unstable business or home life. There's a lack of integrity here. Hermit. And if I can get it, the hangman reversed. So the hermit is thinking about it. Somebody's been thinking. They have been thinking. They have been thinking a lot about their future. They've been uh, contemplating their next move. There is some sort of awareness here, a conscious awareness. Somebody is consciously aware that they have to make a move. Okay, they can't stay in this place anymore. They've thought about it long enough with these two cards. A lot of thinking. All done thinking. These cards are both about thinking. They're both about awakening. They're both about enlightenment and change. Okay, so we have somebody here that has been sacrificing themselves. This person has been uh, hanging on to something that is unstable and insecure and uh, trying to make something work that... Uh, probably isn't in the best integrity. It's not really uh, balanced. It's unbalanced. Somebody has been hanging on to a unbalanced situation where there's no equal reciprocation or there's lies or there's dishonesty or there's a lack of communication. A lack of truth. Somebody is, is uh, giving up, but they're, they're done. They've thought about it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, lot. This is somebody that has wasted some time, but it's not really wasted time because this time has caused an awakening, okay? Somebody has went through an awakening, or they're about to. If they haven't already, they're about to. Uh, there's some sort of injustice here. Somebody's about to, uh, if they, if this has not happened already, there's going to be a need to think and go within to reflect on your next move. So somebody is, this is, this is like, I feel like this is a wake up call. Okay. We have a contract here. The justice card is a contract that is unbalanced. Okay. And that sword right next to it is the sword that cuts, that severs ties. So I do believe that there are some ties that are going to be set, severed in the near future. We, we have somebody here that is deciding to go down another path. They've thought about it long enough. Um, somebody may be receiving some news and it may have something to do with a divorce. It may have something to do with legalities. It may have to do with a business or a home or whatever. 
Also, I believe that somebody was hanging on to something for the money. You know, they didn't want to pay out the money or they didn't want to leave the home or whatever it is. Somebody was holding on for the financial stability. But now they really, really, and they, it's almost like they've, they've gained some sort of uh, wisdom through thinking and time that now they know what they need to do. They need to be honest. And I feel like there's been a, some dishonesty here. Anyhow, the hermit is um, going within and thinking right next to that hangman. Time's up. Time's up. All done thinking about it. I think we have a very wise individual here who has basically, it's almost like they've seen the light, right? They've become enlightened. They're not going to hang on anymore, okay? They're not going to. Ah, somebody's in their feelings. They are definitely in their feelings. Ah, two of cups. There's a union here. There's a partnership that is very, very compatible that is causing this change. We have somebody here that, you know, this is a cup of love. It's the ace of cups. It is the new start in love. We have somebody here that is, is, it looks to me like this person has their sight, has something in their sight. This is somebody that is feeling very emotional. They uh, are going to be following their heart in a new direction. Um... Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo. Um, could be dealing with anybody. But this is about emotions. It is about heart, the heart, what the heart wants. Um, getting to the heart of the matter as well. This is, we have somebody here that has become enlightened in some way. And they have, it's like they don't, they don't want to hang on anymore. They don't want to hang on or they're not going to be able to hang on. And it's because the heart wants what the heart wants. And when you, when you get the king of cups, it's all about love. It's about, it's about feelings and what the heart wants. We have somebody here that that sees an opportunity for love. That's because this is seeing. It is sees an opportunity for love, but I feel like they're in a contract already. I just feel like there is some sort of letting go of a of a contract because and this doesn't have to be relationship, could have to be with a job. Somebody is going in a new direction. Ten of coins. That is the collapse of an empire. It could be the end of a of a legacy, right? Somebody has been struggling to let go. They've been and, and trying to prove something or staying in a situation just because of the financial stability. But this is all about love. We have a very wise individual that has seen something. I just feel like has become enlightened and has seen something that has uh, affected their heart in some way. And we have the Two of Cups, which is a union, an attraction, a partnership where there's you know, compatibility and equality and shared values. I think we have two people here. This is a union, okay? And this could be a work partnership. It could be a friendship, whatever. We have, or it could be a lover. We have two people that are going to be coming together or working together. These two people have a lot in common. And I feel like they're going to be developing a stronger bond in some way. Definitely, it's a very emotional time. Um, there's happiness here. Some we have some, but there there is. There's happiness here. We have a mutual attraction by the looks of things. 
<laughs> Nine of coins. We have somebody that is looking at another person that is very stable, solid, secure, hardworking. We may have a, a business owner here, somebody that is an entrepreneur or who has worked hard to obtain success. We have an individual here that is uh, abundant, independent, enjoying their life, that has somebody that is interested, okay? This King of Cups is about to make an offer to this Nine of Coins. This Nine of Coins is an independent person that is independently successful. This is somebody that uh, works very, very, very hard. An offer is coming. It's an emotional, heartfelt gesture from an individual. I feel like this individual is older. This person is older. They are given to follow their heart, to trust their gut. This is an enlightened individual that has a lot of life experience behind their back, that has been thinking about what their heart wants. But I think that they have been in a previous contract where there was money or assets or home involved that was restricting them and causing them to sacrifice what their heart wanted, you know. Anyhow, we have, a, we have an independent, uh, hardworking individual here that doesn't need anybody that is about to get an offer. This could even be a proposal for some of you. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Cups. That is an emotional, heartfelt gesture. Offer. We have somebody here that is really in their feelings and they're going to be expressing their feelings to this person this is this is like the empress in the minor arcana okay this is somebody that is very valuable and successful Ace of Cups. This is a new start in love. This is this is an opportunity for love. So there is a new start in love. If you are in a relationship now and there's been some sort of argument, I feel like, I don't know, somebody may receive some bad news. I just got to be honest with that. Justice reversed, mirroring the Ten of Coins reversed. We have an unstable business or home life. That somebody is, has been in a contract with somebody that where there's no reciprocation and they've been alone and they've been feeling alone and they've been feeling lonely. But I feel like this is the end of loneliness because I feel like we have a connection here because we had that two of cups. We have a new, and I think it's a new connection. I think there's a new connection here. It could be a new start, could be a reconciliation, but I do feel like we definitely have a new start in love, things getting better. We have a very successful individual here that is about to receive an offer that they are absolutely positively going to love. Good luck.